Hi, this is Brian Gracely, and in this video, talking really about cloud computing technologies, but really focused on the business managers, uh, we're going to focus on something I'm going to call, you know, thinking about your IT budget as OPEX, or alternatively, um, how to turn your budget for technology into something you can pay for with your credit card. Now, if you're listening to this and you're thinking about this, you may say, wait, 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 wait a second. Typically, when I think about IT, I'm thinking about you know, large capital expenditures, large budget items, things that we depreciate over many years, and sometimes that's the cause of your frustration with IT. And, and that's okay, right? Anytime that you're, you, in essence, you have a great idea, you, you've done your market analysis, you, you have a great idea for a new product, for a new service, you believe you can get into a new marketplace, the last thing in the world you want to do is say, uh, now I can't do it for X amount of months or years sometimes, right, in terms of how quickly you can act. And in a lot of cases, that inability to act quickly, um, you know, stifles you in the business. Your competition gets there faster. Your, the market's changed before you're really able to do that. So I want to introduce a concept that some of you may be familiar with as business managers, some of you may not be familiar with, and I want to introduce it in a way that just sort of um, maybe changes your thinking a little bit in terms of how you interact with IT, um, in terms of you know, sort of those concepts of core versus comp uh, core versus context of what's important to your business, um, and more so like thinking about what are the different options I have as a business manager in leveraging technology, cloud computing technology, uh, to solve my business problems. So traditionally, um, what you would have is you would have you know a great idea, which you believe is going to make you a fortune in the marketplace. You'd come to IT, and you'd say I got this thing, and they would come back to you with a proposal that tended to be very sort of CapEx centric, right? Now, this might be very, very good because it allowed them to make sure that you were compliant with everything you did and um, that the information that you would create out of this application or this model was gonna be secure. And, you know, they would guarantee that they would provide, you know, some level of, of service level agreement, you know, 99.9999999 uptime, right? It's always gonna work, which is exactly what you need. The challenge to that was, what was this time frame between here and here, right? How much time did this take to get there, right? And how much did it cost? As an organization, you had to come up with typically CapEx budget, capital budget, that you may not necessarily align terribly well to the way you're gonna go after the marketplace, right? You may have had you know, what looked like a big balloon payment and then it got depreciated over time, but your market curves were gonna go like this, right? So how do I how do I resolve this where I've got you know my my expenses up front and my revenues coming later right I've got this mismatch between timing of payments and timing of revenues versus costs and all those sort of things well there's a different model that many companies are starting to look at in many cases business managers really driving this as either a completely new strategy for how to drive IT right um, or as an augmentation Right? And I'll explain it in both cases, but most cases we tend to find as being an augmentation that sometimes feeds back into IT. So enough technical mumbo jumbo, let's talk about this. We'd like to make these curves, if at all possible, look similar. Right? I'd like to make my revenue curve, my cost curve, be as close as possible you know, to what my, this might be my cost curve, uh, my expense curve to what my revenue curve looks like, right? Drive things to be more OPEX driven, operationally expended uh, driven. So what we're starting, starting to see more and more companies do, um, or at least parts of business do, is they're starting to explore a concept that sometimes is called shadow IT. Um, but, and we talked about that earlier, really what they're trying to do is they're saying, you know, can I, can I speed this up? Can I speed this up and can I match these curves? So what they'll do sometimes is they'll say, look, I want to experiment with some things. I'm not exactly sure that, I'm, that I've got all this analysis right. I think I can go into a marketplace, but if I don't act in the next three months, in the next six months, I can't do that. So what they tend to do is they tend to say, got a great idea, I'm going to bring it to, I'm going to change this to not be IT, but technology, right? They'll invest in technologists in their business unit. They'll go out and they'll find people that do what's called cloud computing, public cloud computing. They can help me set up an application today. They can help me build a mobile app today or in a few months, right? And in a lot of cases, what they'll do is this will help them, you know, it becomes about operational expenditures. So they, they, they model this new technology 
sort of new IT, if you will, or uh, adjacent IT, is being all about align demand to cost. Not cost up front, but cost and revenue or demand and revenue up front. And the beauty of this is that in some cases, especially if you want to move fast, this may not be the best model for long term if these are your biggest concerns, compliance, security, and SLA, but if your big concerns are you know, time to market, Right, competition, right? being able to, what some people will call fail fast. Right? I want to try things out. I want to sort of incubate. I want to uh, innovate. Right? If this is the case, in a lot of cases, companies will say, business managers will say, I'm going to leverage some of these public cloud computing OPEX-driven models to do that. And what I'd encourage business managers to do is explore this. Talk to the other business managers in your organization. Talk to people in your industry. Look across industry, you know, as you're reading Forbes, you're reading Fast Companies, you're reading whatever your favorite periodical is, and you hear these stories about uh, a line of business, a division, or whatever, they went out and did something really, really fast. Start to look underneath the covers. In a lot of cases, the technology that they're leveraging is going to take advantage of cloud computing. And it's going to take advantage of public cloud computing in a way that delivers OPEX as opposed to this cycle. Now, here's where this sort of gets interesting. In some companies, They'll stay with this path, and this will become the future for them. For a line of business, this will become the future. And that very well may be the best way for them to operate. They work in a model where time to market, competition, fast failure, fast learning is the most important thing. And in other cases, they will take the learnings that they got from this model, their ability to execute very quickly, and they will push this back into IT and say, I need this, and I need this. Right? I need both of those components. And so they begin to push IT to drive to have new models as well as their legacy models. And we'll talk about maybe how some of those things are happening. But if you're a business manager and you're looking at how do I get into new markets? How do I get time to market faster where technology is at play? How do I leverage um, technology to better compete with my competition? How do I deal with innovation, deal with sort of failure fast and fast response times and relearning and so forth? It's very, very important for you to start to look at what are the technologies that may be involved with cloud computing, especially the on-demand portions of cloud computing, maybe public cloud computing, to be able to help you leverage that? Now, are you breaking all the rules of IT? In some cases, you're, you're looking at ways to augment them, but it's very, very important to not think about this as IT is a stopping point, but that there are technology options, and that the options may lead you to you know, a new way of doing IT, which may be fantastic, that your business unit, your division may run, it may be an opportunity to take best practices that you've learned to make the business successful, right? the things that drive money, and be able to drive those back into IT because you also need the other things. You're in, a, you're in an environment, you're in financial services, healthcare, oil and gas, something that has a lot of compliance around it, or you have concerns about security and, and other aspects that obviously are huge roles in technology. So something for, for business to think about, there is uh, more and more a growing demand of how do I squeeze the time, align better my cost and my revenue with technology, and there's some new technology that's out there to help you do that. There's some opportunities for leading edge businesses and leading edge division managers, business managers, to really help drive their business, both in terms of things that go to market, as well as helping the business become better at the core aspect of owning and running IT or leveraging technology as a whole. So hopefully this uh, was helpful. It offered some insight into different ways that people are trying to better get to market, better align cost and revenue. And I uh, hope you're enjoying this series of videos. Thanks and have a great day.